Hello, welcome to part 5 of this series. Today, we will be discussing some of the basic but important questions. So, as you will know, explanation will be given in the description box and detailed explanation will be given inside our telegram channel. So, let's do not waste much time. Let's move to question number 81. Which is the common cause of rotator cuff tear? Option A. Trauma. Option B. Chronic degeneration. Option C. Infection. Option D. Autoimmune disorder. And the answer is... Option B. Chronic degeneration. Now let's move to question number 82. Which of the following is a characteristic feature of upper motor neuron lesion? Option A. Flaccid paralysis. Option B. Hyperreflexia. Option C. Spastic paralysis. Option D. Muscle atrophy. And the answer is... Option C. Spastic paralysis. Now let's move to question number 83. What is the primary function of pulmonary surfactant? Option A. Facilitate gas exchange. Option B. Increase surface tension. Option C. Prevent alveolar collapse. Option D. Enhance lung compliance. And the answer is... Option C. Prevent alveolar collapse. Now let's move to question number 84. According to Ottawa angle rules, when is an angle X-ray required after an injury? Option A. Any angle pain. Option B. Pain over the malleoli. Option C. Inability to bear weight. Option D. Swelling and bruising. And the answer is... Option B. Pain over malleoli. Now let's move to question number 85. Which ligament is commonly injured in a lateral angle sprain? Option A. Anterior talofibular ligament. Option B. Calcaneofibular ligament. Option C. Posterior talofibular ligament. Option D. Deltoid ligament. And the answer is... Option A. Anterior talofibular ligament. Now let's move to question number 86. Which cranial nerve is responsible for eye abduction lateral movement? Option A. Cranial nerve 3, octomotor. Option B. Cranial nerve 4, trochlear. Option C. Cranial nerve 6, abducent. Option D. Cranial nerve 5, trigeminal. And the answer is... Option C. Cranial nerve 6, that's abducent. Now let's move to question number 87. Which is the primary function of the diaphragm during inspiration? Option A. Contracting to increase the lung volume. Option B. Relaxing to decrease the lung volume. Option C. Assisting with expiration. Option D. Facilitating gas exchange. And the answer is... Option A. Contracting to increase the lung volume. Now let's move to question number 88. Which special test is used to assess for an meniscal tear in knee? Option A. Lichman test. Option B. McMurray test. Option C. Anterior Royce test. Option D. Thompson test. And the answer is... Option B. McMurray test. Now let's move to question number 89. Which ligament is commonly injured in a medial angle sprain? Option A. Anterior talofibular ligament. Option B. Calcaneofibular ligament. Option C. Posterior talofibular ligament. Option D. Deltoid ligament. And the answer is... Option B. Deltoid ligament. Now let's move to question number 90. Which nerve is innervated the quadriceps femoris muscle group? Option A. Femoral nerve. Option B. Sciatic nerve. Option C. Obturator nerve. Option D. Tibial nerve. And the answer is... Option A. Femoral nerve. Now let's move to question number 91. What is the primary function of pulmonary vein? Option A. Carry oxygenated blood from lung to the heart. Option B. Carry deoxygenated blood from body to the lungs. Option C. Carry oxygenated blood from heart to the body. Option D. Carry deoxygenated blood from heart to the lungs. And the answer is... Option A. Carry oxygenated blood from lung to the heart. Now let's move to question number 92. Which special test is used to assess for a rotator cuff tear? Option A. Near test. Option B. Hawking's Kennedy's test. Option C. Speed test. Option D. Empty can test. And the answer is Option D. Empty can test. Now let's move to question number 93. Which of the following muscle is primarily responsible for hip abduction? Option A. Gluteus maximus. Option B. Gluteus medius. Option C. Tensor fascia lata. Option D. Pyriformis. And the answer is Option B. Gluteus medius. 
Now let's move to question number 94. What is the primary function of anterior cruciate ligament? Option A, limit knee flexion. Option B, limit knee extension. Option C, prevent anterior translation of tibia on the femur. Option D, prevent posterior translation of tibia on the femur. And the answer is... Option C, prevent anterior translation of the tibia on the femur. Now let's move to question number 95. Which nerve is responsible for innervating the muscle of anterior compartment of forearm? Option A, median nerve. Option B, ulna nerve. Option C, radial nerve. Option D, musculocutaneous nerve. And the answer is... Option A, median nerve. Now let's move to question number 96. During the swing phase of the gait, which muscle eccentrically controls knee flexion? Option A, quadriceps femoris. Option B, hamstring. Option C, gastronomus. Option D, tibialis anterior. And the answer is... Option B, hamstring. Now let's move to question number 97. Which of the following muscle is responsible for dorsiflexion of ankle? Option A, tibialis anterior. Option B, gastronomus. Option C, soleus. Option D, peronis longus. And the answer is... Option A, tibialis anterior. Now let's move to question number 98. During the stance phase of the gait, which muscle group eccentrically controls plantar flexion? Option A, quadriceps femoris. Option B, hamstring. Option C, gastronomus and soleus, that's calf muscle. And option D, tibialis anterior. And the answer is... Option C, gastronomus and soleus. Now let's move to question number 99. What is the primary function of transverse abdominus muscle? Option A. Flexion of the trunk. Option B. Lateral bending of the trunk. Option C. Rotation of the trunk. Option D. Stabilization of lumbar spine and pelvis. And the answer is... Option D. Stabilization of the lumbar spine and pelvis. Now let's move to question number 100. Which ligament is commonly injured during angle sprain when the foot is everted? Option A. Anterior talofibular ligament. Option B. Alcaniofibular ligament. Option C. Posterior talofibular ligament. Option D. Deltoid ligament. And the answer is... Option A. Anterior talofibular ligament. So that's all for today. If you have any doubts, please do mention in the comment box. And see you in the next video. That's part 6. Till then, bye bye and all the best for your exams. Thank you.